Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video we'll finally be installing the new screen for the Fitbit Charge 3. So let's get right to it. This connector uh, broke. This flat flex cable, this very fragile flat flex cable and uh, rendering the screen unusable. So I ordered a replacement screen off of AliExpress and it yeah, matches this screen, um, obviously. So we're going to install it in the Fitbit 3. So let's go ahead and let's remove some of the screws in order to get access to the required connectors. I'm not sure what I'm feeling right now. If the drill is skipping, because it's too Well, we might just be able to remove it already. Let's see. There we go. So this is the battery, obviously. I need to check out uh, where it goes in there. I think it just flaps around like this. Yeah, it does. All right, so we need to remove this PCB as well. Oh, uh, that's what the hardest part was. The screen connects to this PCB. And then we need to sandwich the battery in between without breaking the screen's connectors. And I can't find the right tool, bit size, to remove this screw. It broke. So the screen goes onto this connector and this connector. And then the battery needs to be sandwiched in between. And then the whole thing can be assembled. So, this is going to be a challenge. Since these are very fragile. And I do actually need to have some kind of a stand or something. In order to keep the screen from falling apart on itself. That's one. So in goes the PCB cover. Which is quite challenging. Sorry if you are not able to see what I'm doing. But it's quite challenging for me as well to actually see what I'm doing without destroying connectors. I think that's in place. So now we should be able to install this screw. And now it should do something if we attempt to charge it. So let's attempt to charge it. 
like so. This is better. So I'm guessing that we should leave it for a short while because the battery needs to come up again. So let's do that. I think the touchscreen is working because it responded to my touches. I'm guessing that the screen is just faulty. And I'm also guessing that my warranty period has expired big time. But let's try again. Battery. Nice. Would you mind stop vibrating? Whilst I'm installing the battery. I guess it's in. I think it's dead. I'm not sure if the screen's dead or if this thing's just dead, but it's not uh, working anymore. Maybe I can find some test. Uh... So they state that with the device inside of the charger you need to hold the button down for 8 seconds and then it will restart I don't think I'm holding the button oh yeah it's doing something yeah it restarted I could see that the amperage of the charger but I'm going to put it all back together and I'm going to give up because this ain't working. So guys, unfortunately I wasn't able to get this thing back to life. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but yeah, it's just the way it is right now. And I don't think that it will work. I'll leave it in the charger for a couple of hours. But I don't think that that will make any difference. So unfortunately I still hope that you've enjoyed this video. I will make sure to leave a link to the screen in the description so that you can buy it if yours is failing or has failed. But unfortunately, as I said, I'm not able to get this thing to work. So yeah, not sure why. It is charging. It's consuming four milliamps. So yeah, it's working. As I said, I, I was able to find it with my phone. I mean the Bluetooth stack of this thing is active so it has definitely booted and that 
means that if the thing was working would have a, a, a picture on the on the screen guys thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye oh hey hello uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here well if you want you can also view two other videos of me so make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos